Good morning, YouTube. This is your former lady pregnant trucker. Um, I am, of course, not pregnant anymore, and I am back to work today. Today is my first day back to work after 12 weeks of being with my baby for 24-7, so a little bit of separation anxiety, but I'm doing better than what I thought I would be doing. Uh, it feels good to be back at work. Um, like I said, I'm doing than what I um, thought I would be doing. But, uh, so we are back at work. I'm pumping right now, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so we are starting off part-time right now. So um, just to get my feet wet with the separation and everything, see how things go and um, take it from there. So right now I'm just doing Saturdays and maybe some nights. Um, I'm not going too far away from home about four or five hour travel back I mean there and back home oh uh, so probably get like eight to ten hours in a day um, other than that baby is doing fine of course we are still breastfeeding um, we're doing Similac and um, breast milk mostly breast milk Similac when I'm not around or if I haven't pumped enough but so far I've been doing good she hasn't been ready doing the Similac she doesn't have a problem with um, going from Similac bottle to breast um, there are times where she doesn't want breast milk out the bottle she wants the breast but it's not often um, I think it's just she just want me because again we've been together 24 7 for the past 12 weeks so um yeah she doesn't have a problem with going from Similac to breast milk or bottle to breast. Um, like some people would say that was an issue or would be an issue. It hasn't been for us. Um, she's been dealing with gas the past two weeks, of course, because she doesn't burp after breastfeeding and she falls asleep and she doesn't burp. Um, so I've been doing dealing with that, giving her a little bit of um, gas drops. So she's been fine. She is growing. When I get home, I'll try to remember to put her up here. I've done a couple of videos already at home with her up here, but either she distracts me or her dad does something crazy and distracts me, so I haven't been able to post any of the videos. So this is the first time it's just me because I'm sitting on the truck. As you can see, um, I am slip seat right now um, because I'm part-time, so that makes sense to have a, a truck sitting on the lot with payments and only being driven part-time which is cool because um we're a small terminal and we all we know who truck is cool to ride in and who truck isn't and who's clean and who's not clean so it's not a problem um my health insurance i am on medicaid now and she's on medicaid unfortunately because i could not afford the 200 dollars a week for myself plus adding her on there would have been an extra 90 dollars so um yeah and i'm part-time now so um, I am on Medicaid. Um, they did give me a little bit of food stamps and WIC. So every little bit helps. Um, so yeah, it's helping out a lot. Um, other than that, everything's fine. My company was, they, you know, they was there the whole way. Like, they wanted me back at work. Like, they, I don't care if I could say I work an hour a week. They would be like, okay but they wanted me, they didn't want to lose me. So they actually work with me and everything. So um, I have a great company. I mean, every company has its flaws. No company is perfect, but I have, a, I love my company. I really do. Um, and my boss lady. Um, they did make me do a DOT physical and drug screen again, which even a doctor at the DOT, which I just did one in March, you know, while I was pregnant. And I was perfectly fine. So the doctor even was like, what? You know what? She checked my air, checked my breathing, and said, I'm done. I'm not going to put you through this again. So that was it. Um, I'm at Lido right now in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Of course, when I started pumping today, you know, sometimes they take a while. It's just with them, you don't know. Of course, when I start pumping, they finish unloading me in less than 10 minutes. So I'm sitting in the parking lot now, finish pumping. And uh, yeah, we're pretty finished. And I'm about to get back on this road and head back 
to my side of the water and I'll go home to my baby or try to rest. Um, yeah, I did have to get up at four to give me enough time to pump and feed her, get her situated and bottles situated for her dad before I left. But um, she decided to wake up at three. So she didn't go to sleep till 10.30. I didn't go to sleep till 11. So woke up at three, been up since three. So yeah, that's one thing I gotta get used to is a lack of sleep. But other than that, everything is going great. Um, baby is fine. I'm fine besides a little high blood pressure since I've had her. Um, not sure what caused it. She don't think it's the preeclampsia. She doesn't know why it's elevated the way it is now. But um, I will see my primary and see about it. But she said sometimes it takes two or three months for everything to go back to normal. So yeah. All right. Well, I'm about to get back on this road so I can get home and I will talk to y'all later. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, just hit me up. All right, it's your lady trucker Casey. Talk to you later.